Hey, what's up everybody? This is Donnie, Sonic Sound of Doom, and tonight we're gonna take an 8 ohm 2x12, a Mesa Rectifier uh, 2x12, and we're gonna turn it into a 16 ohm 2x12. That way I can run it with my Angle 412 into my Angle Artist Edition 100. Two cabs of 16 ohms will be 8 ohm, and um, I love these Mesa 212s. I love sitting those on the bottom and having my 412 on top. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you how. So here we go. Stay tuned. All right, I saved you the pain from removing the back. But what I did was I took the back off of this Mesa 212 and I took the speaker jack, I just unscrewed it and slid that through the hole and set it down here. And then I was able to lift the top off. So here you have two UK 16 ohm vintage 30s and they are wired together to get eight ohm. And you can see that these are soldered, so we're gonna desolder, desolder, desolder these cables and simply take these other two Vintage 30s and install them. I'll show you those right now. Here are the Vintage 30s I will be installing into the Mesa 212. These are early 90s uh, Celestian Vintage 30s. They're from the UK, eight ohms each. I'm gonna wire them together for 16 ohm. These two were previously owned by Warren Haynes of Government Mule and Allman Brothers. I actually pulled these from an Angle 412, the Angle 412 I currently use, um, that came with only the two speakers. The previous owner had these two in it and then the other two spots were empty. Um, the previous owner was the singer, guitar player of the Freddie Jones band and I bought this Angle 412 cab off of him. He actually purchased that 412 from Warren Haynes directly I guess they're buddies, but Warren actually had four or three Ingle 412s back in the day. And at some point he started selling some stuff off and um, that guy from the Freddie Jones band. Anyway, these are the two speakers we're gonna take and put into the Mesa 212. So here we go. All right, hopefully you can see this. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is desolder. And most important tool besides your solder gun is uh, this guy, this is a desolder pump or solder sucker. Got this from Amazon, they're really cheap. This is the SS02 engineer solder sucker made in Japan. They're awesome. So, here we go. Once you get the um, wires out, you still might see a little bit of the uh, solder in there. So you can usually just sit it on there a little bit where the hole is. Just to clean it up. Now that I got my wire, unsoldered off the speakers and when you're doing this try to get it, them as clean as possible to make your new speaker installation easy next up is removing the speakers so I've got this it is a 11 30 second doodad on my drill and here we go See? Boom. Just do that, repeat. I'm holding my phone so that was not smooth. But you can use this to remove all these guys off if that's your situation. Just be careful. Don't, you know, puncture your speakers. Be careful, go slow, be patient. All right, I've got my two new speakers in. Next up is soldering these together. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and solder these. Once I'm done, I will take a quick video and show you how I wire, wire these two up to get 16 ohm. All right, be right back. All right, I got the speakers wired up. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So off of the jack plate here, I used the left eight ohm input. We're gonna use that. That's now gonna be a 16 ohm input and I will cover up the parallel out and just label it stating that it's 16 ohm. But on the back, you can see here the black and white wire is what I used. The paralleled out, we're not gonna use. We can just, I'll tie those up inside here and let them float. We don't need those anymore. So what I did, that black and white 
the white is positive and goes to the positive guy right here. And the black is negative and it goes to the negative over here. So again, that was straight from the plate, simple. White to positive, black to negative. Then what you have to do is you have to connect these two speakers together. So I went from the positive side from where we had negative. So positive now, soldered that piece just right over to the uh, negative of the other speaker. And I will show you right now how I use my multimeter to do the reading. And right now what we're gonna do is we're going to test these speakers. I've got them wired up and uh, we're gonna use my multimeter. I've got the speaker cable plugged into where you would normally plug in right here. I'm just gonna test with the multimeter and see what we get. As you see the multimeter, it's right at 14 to 16. Hard to do with one hand, but 13.8 to 14.2, that's right where you want to be. When you are reattaching the speakers back to the cabinet, I like to use my drill to just get them going. And once it does get tight, I like to use just this to finish it up. That way you don't bend the uh, speakers up and stuff. That's what I would recommend. Yada, 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 until they get nice and snug. All right, got it all screwed back together. And here's your final product, the jack plate. So I covered the one I'm not using, no longer need it. And I've got my 16 in them, label it two V30s. So I'll be using this in conjunction with my angle 412. 216 on cabinets going into my Angle Artist Edition 100. Sounds killer.